Good morning, happy new vlog. I woke up a little late today, so I have a little bit more energy. Um, it's Wednesday today, so Monday I was feeling really, really gross. And then yesterday, usually Tuesday mornings until like 12, I'm in calls. And then I had to like rush to do a bunch of work. Plus Travis actually like had a 40 hour shift for work. Tuesday night so he wasn't home and I messed with my sleep and I was just also really tired so we're gonna start the weekly vlog here I thought that I would show you this very pastel -y, girly color combo I am wearing today because it's very unusual I ended up keeping the pink crew neck from H&M which it just makes me happy, it makes me feel like it's spring, and I returned the gray set just because I really didn't like how those like wide leg sweatpants looked on me, so I just decided that's okay, like I can find something else that's 100% organic later. These are like the yellow ribbed pants from my Princess Polly holiday haul. I'm not really sure if they still have them. Um, if not, I'll link something similar. I just really like like these Eastery colors. They make me really happy. <laughs> finished filming the Everlane haul. There's a little bit of a mess here that I will clean up before I start editing. Um, I do need to head out to the P.O. box to get some things before Travis gets home and blocks me in with the car. I'm very tired. I shot the TELUS um, campaign on the ground and as I get more and more pregnant it gets really hard to like sit down and then like crawl back up and check the photos and then <laughs> go again like 20 30 times so i don't know how long i'm going to be able to do that but i think we got the shot and i'm going to go edit the everly video now because i have to send it in soon so anyways i <laughs> have a shirt from everly on and my pants are unbuttoned because that's how pregnant i am and <laughs> um it's just more comfortable that way i'm going to put sweats on or leggings on right now just because it's uncomfortable but look how sunny it is outside it makes me so happy I'm filming on my iphone right now just because this has all the stuff from the everlane haul on and then the m50 is downstairs so i'm actually pretty much loving the iphone 12 pro max filming stuff recently as long as like the lighting is okay it's actually pretty good it is 8 a.m i've been up since 5 30 um just lied in bed until about like seven ish and then i got up washed my face brushed my teeth got dressed and i am just about to print out a return label because i decided that i'm actually going to return those valentino boots as well because i have my eye on some tote me ones or some jill sander ones there's a little bit more narrow um, i like the idea of the valentino ones because they had like a grip and they were 60% off. They're back to regular price now. I'm printing out the return label. I'm gonna return it. I had to pick up some packages from, from the PO box because I didn't do that yesterday. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some breakfast because I'm feeling some McDonald's. Um, and it's been a week since I've had it, so I feel like that's okay. What am I wearing today? So this is a crew neck from Friends of Jenny. I don't know the brand. But I have my eye on a Rachel Kami one called like the Fawn Sweater which you guys should check out. And then I am wearing the leggings from Aerie that have the lace up in the nude color. So I'm very neutral today. Um, let's print this out before I forget. Got the goods. 
hash brown <laughs> and the sausage and egg McMuffin and apple juice which I drank more than half of already because I was so thirsty and forgot to bring my water bottle with me which I always usually do but it's on the table here so I'm gonna eat and then I am going to go bring some clothes to the patch I usually just like drop off a huge bag of clothes that I feel like won't sell on Instagram stories anyways. I'm back from the patch and on their Instagram I saw these pair of Levi's. So I actually just grabbed them on my way out. They are so cute. They're size 33 though and they're actually quite tight already but I feel like I want to keep them because by the time it's like full on summer, I will have had the baby. And then I feel like I'm gonna need looser shorts, obviously, because all of my like A Gold E ones are size 25, 26. These are vintage Levi's, you can kind of tell from the worn out patch here. Um, they don't look super, super old, but the patch back here is actually quite worn out. So maybe they were like long pants and then someone cropped them into shorts. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these. They are getting me excited for summer. All right, it's 11 o'clock, it's Friday. It doesn't feel like a Friday, but I actually slept in a bit today. I woke up, I think, at like nine, which was great, because last night I was fading. We had our doula appointment, um, which actually ended up being from like seven to 9.30. And even like when we started the Zoom, I was like, my eyes were so heavy because I was up since five. So I think my body just really needed the rest, which was great. Um, so I'm gonna make a big brunch right now because I didn't eat breakfast. I'm gonna make, I think, some eggs and avocado toast and some sausage um, and some fruit. So we're gonna go do that. Um, I actually don't have anything due today, which is really, really great, but I do wanna take advantage of the sun and shoot some things. So I'm gonna do that this afternoon. I just spent some time on the computer. I do have a call at three, I think. Yeah, at three um, with a social team that I manage for my real estate group to plan some fun recruitment stuff. So that's another thing I have to do today and I think that's it. I don't think I was gonna order ramen um, because Crafty Ramen Guelph just launched like a new spicy chicken dish. But I do have a lot of leftovers in the fridge and I think after like I have this like brunch, I am going to be super full for a while. So we'll see. But I like have been wanting it for the last couple days. So I don't know. <laughs> ball slash pregnancy ball, birthing ball slash fitness ball and it's kind of been sitting in the front for a while because I couldn't find our what is this electric pump so I'm gonna pump it up now so that I can start using it because after my doula class yesterday um, there are certain like exercises that just like, work better with the ball so I'm going to pump it up of course, there is a pump that comes with it, but the electric one will be easier. Got a light blue one, because um, it's on sale. So, hopefully it doesn't smell like a rubber. like let it chill for a little bit um, and then maybe try to pump it some more. So it just seems, I don't think I filled it completely, <laughs> but it's fun. And I just think it's too short for me. 
Like my knees aren't even 90 degrees. Good morning, it is Saturday. It's like 9.30. I was actually up at seven. I had a restless night. I feel like the pattern I'm starting to see is like a really good night's sleep and then a bad one and then a good one because I'm like so tired from the night before. We just came back from shooting a campaign. Um, so, uh, huh? No, you're gonna be in the video. You're in the video. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, uh, we just got back from taking some photos for a campaign. Thankfully, it's still like kind of snowy outside because it's a still winter themed shoot. We went to the Guelph Arboretum, which I'm excited to go to again when it's actually warmer out. Um, I just changed because Travis came in here to change and I wanted my fleece on. It's just like a little bit cozier. So this is that vintage like vest fleece thing. I'm so out of breath. Sorry guys. I just like ate and then did some laundry. <laughs> Slash I'm going to do more laundry, but I came up and down the stairs a couple times. Whew. Um, and then I'm wearing just like a cashmere crew neck. I think this one's from Everlane. And then my airy leggings. I'm just making the bed right now. I'm going to bring that load of laundry downstairs and then I'm going to clean my office and then what else? What else? What else? Oh, I need to do my makeup brushes today. I need to like clean them because I've been saying that I'm going to do that for like weeks and I haven't and it's not good for your skin if they're not clean so we'll do that okay so laundry's in i'm basically making a room in my closet right now so i might have another closet sale very soon i literally just took out all my jeans that don't fit me right now um some that i for sure want to keep and then some that i'm not really sure about so i'm going to go through these in a bit so that I can decide if I'm going to sell them or save them for later when I can fit them again. But essentially, it's like all of my jeans don't fit me anymore. So I have, I think, five that I've bought recently that I'm going to keep up here. And then the rest I'm going to put in storage. I have like big plastic tote, big plastic totes in the basement that I'm going to put them in um, so that... I can access them again when hopefully my body gets back to normalish shape. So this is how much I've actually removed. I've never had so little pants in my closet before. But these are all pregnant belly size. And then I moved some of my denim jackets and leather jackets down here so that I have a little bit more room up here. I need to organize all this obviously, but this is the pile. How crazy. Like this down I might sell, and then these ones I'm gonna put in the totes that I ordered from Canadian Tire. Just waiting for the text for curbside pickup. And then I also ordered a new clothing rack because it's a little bit prettier and I feel like it'll be nice in videos and for photos. Hopefully you can hear me over the dryer. I'm about to clean my makeup brushes. So I have this little like silicone tray. I can't remember where I got it. I think you get it from Amazon or something. It's like put it under your hand. It has these little grooves so the brush goes on it and then like kind of helps like clean it better. And then this is a like all natural brush cleaner. It essentially looks like a little like, tub of hard coconut oil but I don't really know what's in it. It's like a brush cleaner conditioning brush shampoo. So it just like helps it lather up. I just wet the brush and like put it in here. ordering what did I order like two big boxes a um, hang like a 
a new clothing rack and then a cover clothing rack for the basement and then a bird squirrel, squirrel feeder for Travis. So it's actually quite a bit of stuff. Um, hope it fits in the car. And I'm excited to like get more organized just because I've been trying to like rearrange my office for so long, but it just like doesn't work because I just have no room. So I'm hoping like this new, like the, the few new storage items that I got will be helpful. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And the entire is super busy. These are the boxes that I got. Pretty big. Bigger than some of the other boxes I have. And then I got this thing, which is very similar to this, which is where I put my coats. And so now I have to make room to put this one over there. So it fits about 36 pairs. So I'm really liking the size. I think I'll get more and replace some of these so they just like stack better. And I like that it's clear so that you can see actually like what's in it. So this is the size that I got. And this is the new sweater section. Look how much cleaner it looks. So basically I moved all my like long blazers and jackets over here so that it has like more room because it has more room before the basket I have here of like kind of my long sleeves. And obviously I have some like button ups that are longer. And then I folded my sweaters like this, which I'll show you because these are all my chunky sweaters that don't really fold well anyways. And it just, I feel like better about these because my chunky sweaters usually are more, more expensive ones. But yeah, I'm just very happy with how clean it looks. Like there's nothing really impeding the way. The sweaters are stacked and I can see most of them clearly. Okay, so it's technically Sunday, but as I am editing the vlog right now, I forgot to show you guys how I am uh, folding my new sweaters, my how I'm folding my sweaters in a new way to like figure a way to store all my chunky sweaters. So essentially, this is like my biggest sweater right now. So fold it in half, then I fold down the sleeve. And then I like the label of my sweaters to face outward so I know like which sweater it is. So I make sure the hook is facing inwards. And then I put the label slash like neck area through first towards my right hand side. And then I kind of shimmy it through until it's balanced. So it's kind of balanced. And then I stretch it out so that it spans the whole hanger. And then the arms have like a little bit more room. The reason I spread it is so that it's like as compact as possible. So yeah, super simple, um, but it does make such a big difference. I just find that when I fold my chunky sweaters, they always like fall apart and then just become super messy. So I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> 